So you probably noticed something funny on Vim that if you, for example, write hello world, and then you go ahead and copy hello, but you delete world. If you go ahead and paste, you expect it to paste hello, but it's actually gonna paste world. And the reason for that is that you got something on Vim called registers. So if you go ahead and take a look at registers with the reg command, you can see that even though we copied the word hello, the default register, which is two quotation marks, actually contains world. So it contains the last deleted word. In fact, every time you delete a word or you copy a word with yank, or you use something like the change command, it's gonna put the contents inside this default register, unless you use a register called the black hole register. And this register is this register, so it's quotation and then underscore. Let's just make a new word here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this with the black hole register. Now if you take a look at the reg command, you can see that this didn't go anywhere on the default register. It stayed with the previous content. So that's what you can use to actually keep it intact. Another way to copy text without delete commands affecting it is to use named registers. For example, you can use registers with letters. Let's say, for example, let's use the A register. And then you can go ahead and yank hello, for example. And then, for example, I'm going to go again and delete world just to show you that I can still use A. And you can see that if I'm just going to paste regularly, it's going to paste world. But if I go ahead and say that I'm going to paste from the A register, which I saved hello, it's going to actually paste hello. So this is a way to actually save it aside so the other delete commands won't affect it. Or you can just use the black hole register when you're deleting stuff. So that is the basics of this whole deal. If you want to go ahead and learn even more, you can just take a look at help registers. And you got a lot of useful information right over here. Don't forget to subscribe for more Vim videos. Thanks for watching.